urinary retention in women is entirely different to uh, a urinary retention in men. In men, it's most of the time related to bladder outlet obstruction, while this is not the case in, in women because bladder outlet obstruction is quite uh, rare and diverse. And <clears throat> while we know the epidemiology of bladder outlet obstruction and acute retention in women, in men, it's not the case in women. And in addition, the treatment is uh, clear in men, but this, this is not the case in, in women. Female urinary retention and bladder and time disorder can present as, as complete retention, incomplete retention or insufficient time, or with, uh, with the elevated post-void residual, which uh, has a various significance because the, the amount of physiological post-void residual has not been uh, clearly established, but also could be post uh, uh, after surgery, uh, particularly after incontinent surgery or any kind of pelvic surgery, even postpar postpartum or uh, any <clears throat> any other surgery involving in, in, involving the the, the lower urinary tract uh, uh, organs or even the nerves. Retention may be also symptomatic or symptomatic, acute or chronic, and might be related either to the bladder or to the bladder outlet. When related to the bladder could be due to the trusor underactivity or the so-called a contracted bladder. And the trusor underactivity may be related to a neuropathic uh, cause, like uh, any kind of neurogenic bladder, a problem in, the, in muscle uh, related to obstruction, to failure of the, of, the, of the muscle, or a metabolic disorder like diabetes uh, uh, mellitus or um, over distension, or even related to the use of drugs. Some, uh, some women might have voiding problem, problems after uh, chronic use of uh, antidepressant or uh, uh, um, antipsychotic uh, agents, narcotics, or after uh, using uh, painkillers. Also might be related to the aging process, and the contracted bladder uh, might be related to a, a failure of the, of the trusor or a sphincter relaxation, uh, as the Fowler, Fowler syndrome, or also might be related to uh, a, a behavior when uh, women try to avoid uh, voiding, holding the urine, and this could lead the patient to uh, have a bladder over distension, damaging the uh, afferent nerves, leading uh, to uh, um, retention. The trusor underactivity is defined by the ICS as a, uh, it's a urodynamic uh, diagnosis uh, based on a pressure flow study and characterized by a low pressure, poorly sustained or wake the trusor contraction with uh, an associated poor uh, flow rate, which is different to the underactive bladder. Underactive bladder is a clinical diagnosis which is not completely clear, uh, uh, but uh, it's not the urodynamic uh, diagnosis. A neurogenic detrusor underactivity might be related to diabetes, I already mentioned, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis in the case of cerebral lesion, because most of the time, patients with MS, MS have uh, uh, um, or detrusor overactivity, injury to spinal cord and cauda echina, uh, infection for uh, neurological problems like uh, AIDS, herpes zoster infection, or iatrogenic factors, as I already mentioned, but might also be related to muscle problem. Uh, years ago, the group of El Badawi uh, found several, uh, um, uh, they described several findings with using uh, electronic microscope that were related to uh, both the trusor overactivity and the trusor underactivity related to, to, to uh, Aging and these uh, findings were have been described by uh, by several groups, uh, showing us that uh, the, the the muscle uh, failure might be involved also in the trusor activity, but also uh, chronic ischemia might be a cause for the trusor activity for both the trusor overactivity as at the failure of the trusor overactivity, the patient uh, the, uh, the 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 the, the the process might lead the patient to have a voiding pro problem. So 
uh, related to um, chronic ischemia, we might face both the trusor overactivity and the trusor underactivity. But urinary retention in women might be also present after uh, delivery. The incident is, uh, is, is uh, very varied, but this is not uncommon. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's covered, sometimes it's not. There are limited data in regard to the mechanisms of, uh, of action, but probably it's multifactorial. Might be some neurological problem, might be related to disruption of the afferent system uh, during delivery, either to damage of the nerve or also related to the, the use of uh, narcotic or analgesic uh, drugs during, the, during delivery. <coughs> or impairment of neurotransmitting required for proper uh, senior uh, transduction, transduction, and also might be related to the physiological changes during the, during the, during the pregnancy, because we, we are aware that uh, progesterone rises during, during pregnancy, and that's one of the reasons why the urinary tract be, uh, 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 gets some kind of dilatation, and there is a transition phase after delivery where the, the, the progesterone level uh, uh, dropped down, but not enough, and the patient might have some, uh, the woman might have some difficulty to, to, to void. So at the end of the day, the, the, the voiding uh, efficiency depends very much on the interplay from afferent information, the upper urinary tract, and the, the efferent efficacy. When some of these compounds fail, the patient might have difficulties to void. But uh, retention might also be related to bladder, to the bladder outlet, uh, bladder outlet obstruction that might be anatomic or functional. Anatomic, such as a, a, a stricture uh, after in, incontinent surgery, prolapse, uh, strings in compression, uh, tumors, meatal stenosis, caruncula, uh, skin uh, uh, glands uh, access, diverticular, carcinoma, etc., but also functional, like a primary blood neck extraction, dysfunctional voiding, or even the trusor sphincter dysinertia. Urethral structure in women is uh, no, it's no, actually it's not so common as it, it was thought in the past. When I started my training in urology, urethral dilatation was very common in women because uh, uh, many of the complaint of, uh, of, of women uh, uh, related to the lower urinary tract were related to meatal stenosis, which was described by, by Line uh, years uh, ago, uh, as you can see in, in this, uh, this slide. And then we used to perform urethral dilatation. Now, nowadays, we know that this is not, this is not true. And urethral stricture is, uh, in women is most, of, uh, it's most of the time of, based on uh, iatrogenic uh, uh, origin. Uh, in any case, there are some diseases that might, might cause uh, urethral structure or obstruction uh, in women, but this is uh, uh, actually uh, quite uncommon. Another <coughs> uh, diagnosis is primary neck obstruction, which is common. It's, it's not uncommon, neither in men or in women, but this is a diagnosis that was first described by Marion, but uh, the Physiopathology of, and, 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 the, and the, the precise cause of uh, primary neck obstruction uh, remains obscure. Somebody has suggested that there is a failure of uh, dissolution of mesembical tissue at the level of the blood neck. There is inclusion of abnormal connective tissue, a smooth muscle hypertrophy, and inflammatory changes, or even a neurological etiology. The diagnosis is, is, is not that simple, and most of the time, it uh, has to be uh, uh, by ruling out, out other, some other uh, condition that might pro produce uh, uh, the primary blood neck obstruction. So, uh, but also, uh, retention, uh, retention in women might be related to dysfunctional voided, like uh, <coughs> consistent of intermittent and fluctuating flow rate due to involuntary intermittent contraction of the periurethral striating muscle. Uh, in neurological normal women. Uh, there is a broad range of symptoms and signs for several diagnoses affecting sexual function, bowel function, renal incontinence, and, and, and voiding, and levator muscle as a potential source of uh, impairing urinary flow rate, maybe even related to some other condition like a constipation, chronic constipation. So, <clears throat> 
in the past, uh, the, 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 so the syndrome described by Heeman, like Heeman syndrome, uh, which uh, consisted of, uh, of um, voiding dysfunction and dilatation of the upper urinary tract with an, without a known cause, is not that the case anymore because when, after the implementation of MRI, we came to the conclusion that though most of those patients diagnosed of Heeman syndrome, what they really had, is some kind of a problem at the at the spinal cord level, but <clears throat> the incident of uh, dysfunctional voiding is uh, is not well known. It varies between 42 percent to 46 percent. Uh, has been found in two percent of of urodynamic investigation. Sometimes it's associated to the tussor overactivity, low compliance, or even uh, vesicoretral reflex. But the exam mechanism is not well understood. In children, it's considered a, dis a, a, a disorder <laughs> learning to contract the pelvic floor or external sphincter during micturition. And sometimes this is related to the, a, a, a learning be behavior or even a, an occur neurogenic uh, disorder. In summary, urinary retention in women is not uncommon. In it can be present either as acute or chronic or uh, with the uh, increased post residual, might be asymptomatic or asymptomatic, and might be related to surgery or not, to bladder outlet obstruction, or even to charge bursts. Uh, under activity, uh, um, a contractility may be the outcome of several disorders, including aging, metabolic disorder, disorders, ischemia, and related to either afferent or efferent nerves, mus muscle problem, or even drugs ab abuse, like uh, is the case in, in, in women who uh, um, chronic use, use chronically uh, antidepressants or mm. inhibitors of uh, uh, the reuptake of uh, serotonin and noradrenaline, and also might be related to uh, bladder outlet obstruction or anatomic, uh, either anatomic or functional. So <clears throat> the next presentation is going to be performed by Professor Tufan Tarjam, on evaluation, but if you have any questions so far, I would be happy to, to, to try my best to respond. <clears throat> 